Anyway, we're building some formwork here to pour against, the concrete to pour against. It's set at the height of finished floor. And um, basically we're creating a straight line to, um, so the concrete terminates itself to create a nice edge for the planter and the liner will, this planter liner will come up against the, uh, the finished concrete pour. And so here, I'm just trying to, uh, since we have to get rid of these temporary form stakes and, and form supports, because we're pouring here, we have to transfer some of those uh, form supports to the back tire wall here. So we put a 12 inch piece of, uh, of half inch plywood on our wall here. This is to create a formwork for the concrete pour. Um, it's going to come right up to it. Um, we also have a 2x2. Two two. Um, at the top level of this 2x2 two two is at 4 inches. That's at finished floor level. A screeding ledger. So when we're, when we're pouring, when we're uh, screeding our concrete, uh, make sure flat and level, we can take our screeder and rest it on this over to our other screeding ledger and we can just screed our concrete to the right level using this guy. Oh, this is also going to be, this is going to be part of the wall. Above this I'm going to do sheetrock, but this is necessary. Um, I can use this because there's going to be cabinets uh, you know, mounted right in front of here, so you're never going to see this plywood. squares, two six inch squares, to overlap. This, that, get them together. Where's the dot? <laughs> 